Things have changed so fast in the last 20 years that it might seem crazy to predict what things might look like in 200 years. We have done extensive research to bring you the wildest changes that would happen to Earth in the next 200 years. The environment will make a comeback. From climate change to rainforest destruction to the pollution of our oceans, the world might seem like it might have trouble surviving another 200 years of human development. According to forecast analysts, in two centuries, Mother Nature will be on the rebound from near collapse. If today's decision makers choose to put resources toward avoiding ecological collapse, including strict adherence to carbon policies and full support for the development of renewable energy, the world of 2218 might be a more healthy and balanced place where life can be supported for hundreds of years to come. Scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking, warn that we have 100 years of life left on this planet, but it does not have to play out that way. If we take that advice today and begin repairing things now, we may have a very desirable, functional and safe ecosystem for future generations to enjoy. Oceans will be extensively farmed, and not just for fish. We will need to feed 10 billion people and nature can't keep up with demand, so we will need much more ocean farming for fish. But algae farming is also on the way for renewable energy, and maybe even for growth of feedstock or resource extraction via GM seaweed or algae. According to Dennis Bushnell, chief scientist at the NASA Langley Research Center, saltwater algae that's been genetically modified to absorb more nitrogen from the air than conventional algae could free up to 68% of the fresh water that is now tied up in conventional agriculture. This water could go to thirsty populations. We will be able to control the weather. There is already some weather control technology for mediating tornadoes, making it rain, and so on. And thanks to climate change concerns, a huge amount of knowledge is being gleaned on how weather works. We will probably have technology to be able to control weather when we need to. It won't necessarily be cheap enough to use routinely and is more likely to be used to avoid severe damage in key areas. There is a high chance of this happening in the future. We will certainly attempt to do it. A majority of scientists in the U.S. support a federal program to explore methods for engineering the Earth's climate, otherwise known as geoengineering. These technologies aim to protect against the worst effects of man-made climate change. Thanks to DNA and robotic engineering, we will have created incredibly intelligent humans who are immortal. It is more likely that direct brain links using electronics will achieve this, but genetic engineering will help a lot by increasing longevity. Keeping people alive until electronic immortality technology is freely available at reasonable cost. The idea that breakthroughs in the field of genetics, biotechnology, and artificial intelligence will expand human intelligence and allow our species to essentially defeat death is sometimes called the singularity. If global warming continues unchecked, Earth in 2030 could resemble its former self from 3 million years ago. In all countries, it will be around 6 to 8 degrees warmer. Hamburg will have a climate like that of southern Italy today, in areas with water shortages it will be even drier. The Arctic will have thawed and the glaciers in the Alps will have largely disappeared. Many cities located on the coast would be submerged under the ocean. Due to global warming, average temperatures are rising in the world, which is leading to climate change. Climate change is causing habitat loss and a lot of other damages to the environment, which is causing the decline of insects all over the world. Droughts and forest fires are increasing due to climate change. Due to the extinction of pollinator insects, many flowering plants will die out by 2200. Short-lived plants will survive and long-lived plants, like trees, would disappear. 
There would be new plant species as well as newly extinct plant species due to climate change. The hot climate would also lead to more forest fires in which entire forests would be destroyed. According to a new study, over the next few centuries, Earth could face a mass extinction, on par with the one that killed off the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. A mass extinction is when 75% or more of the planet's species die out, an event that has happened five times in Earth's history. Now, according to a new report in the scientific journal Nature, we could be on the brink of a new one. Most at risk are amphibians, with 41% of species threatened with extinction. For mammals, that number is 26%, while 13% of bird species are in danger. Less is known about insects, seeing as only 0.5% of 1 million known species have been evaluated. There might be more than 5 million species living on Earth. The most dire threat comes from what the study calls exploitation, hunting, fishing, etc., while habitat degradation comes in a close second. The big unknown is climate change. If it isn't a huge factor, the sixth extinction could take thousands of years. But if climate change makes things a lot worse, the study says that Earth could lose 75% of its species by 2200. A potentially dangerous asteroid called Bennu has a 1 in 1750 chance of hitting Earth between now and the year 2300. That's according to the most precise calculations of an asteroid's trajectory ever made, and the odds are slightly worse than NASA previously thought. Still, the researchers studying Bennu say this doesn't keep them up at night. Bennu is a rubble pile asteroid that's shaped like a spinning top, and it's wider than the Empire State Building is tall. It was discovered in 1999, and telescopes have been keeping tabs on it ever since. NASA considers Bennu and another asteroid, called 1950DA, to be the two most hazardous known asteroids in our solar system. The researchers have published their predictions in the journal Icarus, and they say the asteroid will make a close approach to Earth in 2135. Bennu will pose no danger at that time, but Earth's gravity will alter the asteroid's path around the Sun and affect its possibility of coming back and going splat. The most significant date in terms of a potential impact is September 24, 2182. If an asteroid of this size did strike the planet, Johnson says, it could make a crater 6 miles wide, and the area of devastation would be as much as 100 times larger. According to a recent report from the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development OECD, by 2050, the number of deaths caused by air pollution, which includes tiny particles found in smoke and haze, ground-level ozone typically emitted by cars, and toxic components in household products and building materials, will soar, killing more than 6 million people every year. This is because in addition to dirtier skies, warmer weather will speed up the chemical reactions that produce many pollutants. One of those toxins is ground-level ozone, a chemical that irritates the delicate tissue lining the lungs and causes coughing, feelings of burning, wheezing, and shortness of breath when inhaled. Ozone often worsens respiratory conditions like asthma and emphysema. Superbugs could kill 10 million people each year. Right now, infections that no longer respond to the drugs we once used are killing 700,000 people a year. By 2050, that number is set to reach 10 million deaths each year. The problem of antibiotic-resistant bacteria has been exacerbated by the fact that doctors and pharmacists across the globe give them out freely and farmers worldwide use them liberally on their crops and add them to animal feed, even when animals aren't sick. Because of this liberal use, antibiotics have become ever-present, almost anywhere, they can be found floating in the water and buried in the soil. Unless the demand for antibiotics drops or the regulations on using them are tightened, 
We are set to live in a world where millions of people die from infections that can no longer be treated. That's all time we have for today's video. Thanks for watching.